this is hot shot number 14 and this is all about putting a little bit of, of yourself part of yourself into what you sketch um, I know there's so many techniques that we can share as artists with each other but no matter what you do you want part of your personality part of who you are to show through and um, it's easy to tell people's work when you just see their marks that's something about them showing through and, uh, and this is what I want to share with you and um, I want I don't want you to force it don't force it it's by constant practice that you notice that the way you mark the way you stroke the way you pull your lines has a lot to do with your personality well with me I'm a kind of person that I move around a lot. Um, I'm a bit of a restless person. So that shows a lot in my sketches and that seems to be why I can cope with the situation on the trains and tube. And I'm gonna just show with a quick way how that shines through in what I do. Um, I'm gonna be trying to sketch this little boy's head. Again, this was sculpted by Richard Byrne. The real work is maybe in someone's house now, but this is one of the molds he produced. And basically, you know, if I'm sketching, I like it to show through. Say for instance, I like to dance with my lines, you know. Um, you know, just, you know, just put my, my, I like to throw lines that way. That's my personality. It's with constant practice that, you know, I discovered that that's, I like to dance around a bit, you know, just pull the lines and just marking out you can see how these dancey lines come in. Um, this is me working with the angle system, which is very part of what I do. And I use curves, but if you notice, it's just something about the way I'm happy while I'm doing it. It's that sort of thing that comes out. There's this little um, figure I have there. Like it's just, just everything I kind of do has that feel to it. It's, a bouncy like sketch like feel and I want to communicate I want that to shine through I don't want my lines to be all rigid and you know that's not me but someone else might be that way someone else might be you know you know and they sketch you know very loosely but I like this is really me you know how I like to just basically go about stuff like this you know here I'm trying to work on the structure first you know before I start putting the features in and this is just me so I'm gonna keep quiet at the moment and just just watch how I dance around with with what I'm trying to portray Often you see artists, the way they make their marks, you know, sometimes you want to imitate the way they make their marks. No, with constant practice you notice that there will be a style that so much suits you, but you have to have tons and tons of work and practice to be able to, you know, there will be something. I can't really explain this one. I've thought about it, it took me a while, but I said, you know what? I'm just going to go for it and see if people really respond to this one. But there's something about what you do and the way you do it that is different from every other person. You know, I feel it's it's not actually what we sketch that matters, but it's how we do it. That little bit of us must show through. You know, I, I look at Sergeant's sketches and I can see that, you know, he loved those free forms to flow through. You could see it in his lines, you know. Some of us are a little bit more detailed in what we do than the others, you know. So watch how I would shade, what, just how I feel about it. You know, I just suddenly just let it, f I feel that, I know, you know, it's all the way, just, I just love to just carefully 
sometimes just go through and I like to hear the feel of what I'm using, the medium on the paper. That gives me a vibe. And watch these little circular moves I do here to shade. That's part of me. I like to see the interaction sometimes, you know. You know, just that little bit of interaction of the the the, the pencil or the that medium I'm using on the paper, the, the noise it makes. You know, when it comes to hair, I kind of like like to dance quickly and just how it moves. You know, just everything has to be part of you. You must be enjoying what you're doing. I don't believe in these people that say you have to suffer while you draw, no, or while you paint, no. There is a bit of seriousness, but hey, you've got to enjoy this. You must enjoy it somehow. It mustn't be all gloom and doom, no. Unless, I mean, why, why, why would you do something like that, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. Look at how I just go straight down there. Again, it's a sketching, but part of you shows through. Part of me that's showing through is my my love for lines. I love lines, and it's the way I handle them. Sometimes they're so delicate, and and I like them to have that free spirit. You notice that I'm never really concentrating on one sort of method, but if I'm communicating, I hope I am. Yeah. Um. Put some shade in here too. And I like to go over the form. So let's say I see the form move that way. I begin to move that and dance around with it. I don't believe there's any one way to do this. You know, I feel his face, the way it moves around, I go around with it, you know. Here I move down. I like to feel the way the surface moves as if I'm caressing his face with the strokes I make, you know, it's, it's enjoyable, it's a treat and I want to share these things because this is what um, this is what makes me tick every day, I go into the tube and I dance with my pen, alright, it's, it's about I dance, I like that word, I dance, I let the pen dance on the paper, on the paper, the rhythm you know, I just, I just like that little bit. And sometimes, you know, if I really wanted to form a background around this, you know, just really go. Shh. But again, that noise, the, the speed, getting that little figure out there. Just everything has a pattern to it too. You don't just stroke; it has a bit of a pattern to it. There's a, there's a hard edge here. Just be around here, a hard edge, you know, I'm sorting that out, getting that face, the broad strokes around it so that it can gradually come out, everything, I, is, there's, there's rhythm, there's movement, there's pace, you know, this, this, this is one of the darkest spots, you get into it because it really goes in, then the lines, I'm going to come to that one of my later hot shots, you know the heaviness of the line so I think um, in a nutshell I've been able to communicate something here which has to do with your part of you you are unique and that has to show through you know so I'm just gonna put some last lines so that this has a little bit of definition uh, like you know some lines you have really sure where they are and put them in there. Lovely, that's enough. I mean, this is what I'm talking Something about you has to come into it. And if it's not happening, you're not working enough. Keep it working, keep it going, keep it flowing. Don't stop. It's that stop start thing that kills this part of you. You want to constantly flow through. I hope you've enjoyed. Hot shot number 14 is all about making something about you show in your sketches.